And a political support group, BAT Project 23 for Tidobusha Tima, says it has activated campaigns in the 57 local government areas in the country by inaugurating local grassroots mobilizers. The group says the move will ensure the emergence of Senator Bola Tinubu and Senator Kashim Shatima as president and vice president come 2023. It added that they are ready to return Nigeria to her place of pride by conversing support for the APC candidate. The Bulatinibu Project 2023 is one of the APC uh, political support groups campaigning for the election of the party's candidate. We can never achieve politics without the grassroots. So we came here today to tell our coordinators that let them go back to their polling units and do the right thing and make sure they build a strong unity in that polling unit so that by the coming 2023 general election, we cannot hear any story apart from Aswaju in that polling unit. Trying to touch all part of Lagos State to make sure they know the kind of market we have. Already they know him. Well, we just want to talk more about him to the public so that nobody will come and confuse anybody that Ashwaju is it or that. That we love Ashwaju and everybody that is, everybody is ready to work for him. So we work from, from one local government to another and from local government to zone and everybody are ready and they are ready to mobilize. The group we have been mobilizing, moving people from the grassroots to every nooks and crannies and make sure that we do the work, converse to people, for them to vote for our great party and to vote for our incoming president, Ashwaj Bola Metinumbu. Still talking politics, let's turn to Ogun State, where the People's Democratic Party has now expelled the governorship aspirant of the party, Jimmy Lawa, for allegedly conducting and participating in what they called illegal governorship primary election and for failing to honor the invitation of the disciplinary committee of the party. He was initially suspended alongside four others, including the financial secretary of the party in the state, Bola Odumosu, Fasi Wajadi, Kola Kiemi, and the party chairman of Ijebu Northeast Local Government Area, Tokwe Ashiru. While reading out the decision of the committee, a chieftain of the party, Tola Odulaja, said Jimilawa has been expelled from the party, but Bola Odumosu is on suspension till the expiration of his tenure as a state officer of PDP in the state. Members flagrantly refused and neglected to appear before the committee to answer charges against them, despite the open transparency displayed by the committee in order to ensure fair, fair earning. So on all this, we then recommend, are recommended varies in degrees based on certain factors. For, for example, Jimmy Lawa, who is the architect, the alter ego, the person behind the scene, wrecking, wanting to wreck this party, we recommend expulsion. Fatima Shonibare, same, state assistant treasurer. Aremo Tokwe Ashiru is a party chairman too, in the same bracket. Ademolo Joye in the same bracket. So they were all recommended for expulsion. 